There was an alligator removed from my pond this morning. That was that was very exciting at 7 a.m. Did you put him there? No. <laughs> How big was it? I, I didn't see the full. Uh, I didn't. I, I don't know. It's hard to gauge, but uh, the trucks were out there this morning. I guess some, some one of the neighbors reported. We've got alligators roaming around. Maybe they maybe it uh, took a cat or something. I don't know. So now that this is not your first time witnessing people remove alligators from locations. Isn't that correct? Uh, that's correct. I feel that's like you were very famously on a <laughs> on a yeah, news like... report or television show or something <laughs> where an alligator got removed yeah. from an area where it wasn't supposed to be. That's right. I was on the Gator Boys television show on Animal Planet. Years ago, <laughs> yes. so, I got to see it all firsthand and, and actually touch the alligator that they right. that they put in our pond. Yeah, so, it's like it's back there or something. You got to yeah. go get it. That my was your big, line. That was my big line. I think it's back there. I, I you, man, they, you could pull dude, that up. You could pull that up. We could I watch no it. There's probably a it, lot of people who haven't seen it, Jay. It's one of the worst, like one of the craziest tv experiences i mean that they, they, i had to be there at 6 30 in the morning to get mic'd up for literally like eight seconds so put the mic on under your shirt they did all that stuff and uh we just waited the camera crew showed up then we had to go through like a safety check in case the alligator went crazy and bit somebody so that took forever, man. They went through all these things. You had to sign all these paperwork. Like, like it was like a freaking book. I didn't know what I signed. I was just signing. They're like, sign here, initial. You're just like, I want to be on TV. Yeah, it was like whatever. Then they're like, all right, we're. Then you had to sign what you were getting paid. I got a hundred dollars. A whole hundred bucks. <laughs> you sign one. It's like if the alligator bites off your leg and you die, <laughs> we're not held responsible. Yeah, exactly. Yeah exactly then the exciting thing happened around what are we like four hours in they started filming so the guy jumped into the lake i don't know if i'm allowed to i think i signed an nda maybe i'm not allowed to talk about this but whatever it was a long time ago that show's not on air anymore that guy jumped in the lake and there was since it was a man-made lake there was some kind of it was burning his skin when he got out Something was in the water. It was like, I don't know what it was. He got out. He was just like, he took his, he kind of ripped his wetsuit off quickly. And there was a guy, uh, I guess he was a doctor or a paramedic, whatever it was. He had this uh, this big red book bag on. And when the guy ripped it off, he's like, he's like, bring him, come over here. Bring the guy over there. And he like hosed him down with his foam and he just put it all over his body. To kill whatever was eating his flesh. I don't know what was going on. So we we're just standing there like, well, that's something you don't see every day. So they pulled the alligator out and they did the little wrestling thing where they touched its tail and it jumped around and all that stuff. And I and then there's like clips of me just standing there like this. Yeah, I don't you know. You just way in the back. Yeah, that was it. That took around. like another yeah. three hours to film. And so I'm thinking. All right, when this show finally airs, like, I'm going to be in it for, like, 20 minutes, right? I think the show's 30 minutes long. I think, like, this is the whole thing. It was lit The whole segment was 15, 20 seconds. Tops. Just standing there. Like, All left on the cutting room floor. That's it. It didn't even air for a year. Like, almost a year. Never hear a report of anyone in, like, Central Florida, like, getting hurt. From an alligator they have parks here that you can walk where the alligators are just hanging out in the in wasn't the... there some homeless person a couple years ago that was like out on private property where they weren't supposed to be they got eaten by an alligator i don't remember that i have yet to actually see an alligator anywhere since i've been living in florida like it's crazy like in the wild somewhere not just oh. fucking at gatorland or some shit do you know what i mean yeah. I, I just haven't seen him i saw them in south carolina when i was golfing in south carolina i'd see alligators but i haven't seen shit here Man, they're all around me they oh. just follow you maybe you're the problem jay <laughs> brought one to your complex 
<laughs> your pond. Maybe. There's a park not too far. It's like 15 minutes free. You can walk these trails, and they're just like, there's alligators. Just don't molest them. I don't know who goes around molesting alligators. That's what's on the sign. It's weird. Please do not molest or feed the alligators. That's what the signs say. Yeah, that has different connotations. It's, it's I would crazy. say don't bother the alligators. I got a video where, like, I'm on that trail, and it it just, the alligators just casually walked past me. Did he say it's anything? Like, like, hey, what's up, bud? No, I was scared out of my life. <laughs> I was scared to death. I froze, man. I didn't even move. There was people behind me. And Bro, if you started running up on him, he would scamper he in a heartbeat. He prob probably would he run would like run a away squirrel. A yeah, more yeah. than likely. And I was just like, I just stood there. He just kind of casually walked past all of us without... I recorded the whole thing, and it was like, holy crap. The guy behind me was like, don't move. Don't move, everybody. Don't move. He's like telling everyone, don't move. You're fine. Don't move. Don't move. So I'm like, the thing's that's getting your, closer to my... So that's your once in a lifetime chance, Jay, to like <laughs> do something badass. Viral, like pick him up and sling him around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Grab him by the tail, fucking work your way up, <laughs> push your hands down on his head, fucking hold his hold his jaw I, shut. I was scared, man. You had already got the training. You got the training from the Gator Boys or whatever. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> When's the last time you got stung by a bee? It's uh, it's been a good minute. I haven't not got stung by a bee since I was five years old. Like, no, nah, mine's not that long. I'd say last year there was a giant wasp nest, like uh, under like, and all I do is like bat them with my hand, like knock them down. They don't really bother you. But one time, one one got a hold of my uh, right under my elbow. It I it it hurt a little bit. And it was red, but that was about it. Yeah, I haven't got so. stung in fucking forever. And I, I don't just leave them alone. If a bee fucking comes in my space, yeah. I'm fucking swatting that shit and killing it. Oh, them. yeah, like, definitely. I'm going to give you a chance. My you fucking missile them defense in your hand. system. Fuck you. You can squeeze them in your hand and they pop. They're like, don't bother the bees. No, the bees shouldn't bother me. What are you talking about? The fucking, funny ones are the giant. I don't know if the, the it's like about fucking gun, and I'm just like walking yeah. up to people, pointing a gun at you, and they're like, "Hey, don't bother him; he won't shoot you." Well, it like, yes, don't come up to me with your fucking stinger. All right, yeah, aim it in my direction, and there won't be any problems. Bumblebees are like they're kind of funny. You could just flick them, and it's like, pop, and they just like they fly. Ryan will live until he's so old that a fast food worker is sure they can take him. Don't forget about the kid that got eaten at Disney by a gator. That, that story, kid or today, or? that story is uh, it's that's a bizarre story. Didn't that's Disney fair. try to cover it up to say it wasn't on their property or some shit? Or the the crazy thing about that is when the autopsy, like, there's like conflicting stories. First, that the kid drowned first before the gator pulled him down. Then, like, the dad fought off the alligator, and, uh, you know, then the kid died late. It's just, like, all these weird stories, and then all of a sudden, like, the, the, the weirdest one out of everything was the guy didn't sue Disney. He kind of, like, well, it was my, he had drank too much and wasn't watching his kid that climbed over and got into the water. I, it's just there's so many weird stories. You don't know, like, what what really happened. I mean, it's horrible that his son died, but they, they built a lighthouse statue for him over there. Uh, and that's about it. Where did that happen? When? No, where? Uh, Grand Floridian Hotel. Oh, really? There's, like a, there's a fake beach there, but uh, like, it's, I don't know, man, like this, you can't really get like a correct, story on the whole thing the what the, the correct thing is a little kid died it was terrible and an alligator snatched him whether the kid had already died from drowning because his dad wasn't watching or not is like that that was the big debate so that was the big debate terrible man like that's it's terrible so uh magnum norse for 10 the gators can smell your fear jay it smells like victory mm. I'm not really afraid of them. Like the, the ones that I am afraid of are the little ones because they they're very aggressive. When when they get older, they're kind of like whatever. You can just kick those though. Yeah, I haven't, but I I don't like the little one. They they're like a lot faster and like more aggressive, but 
It's the big ones that just kind of like sit there. If you get close to them, they like they make noises to kind of scare you off before they even move. And then if you still stay near them and like clap, they just kind of slowly like, all right, I'm getting. What do they say? They just make noises, like grunt noises. Like what? I can't. I don't know how to do it. Let's replicate. Do you an alligator call? Uh, I I uh, I don't know, man. Lord of the Reef for a buck. I do pest control and bee stings ain't shit. Wasp and hornet stings hurt the most because they have a larger stinger. Yellow jackets suck almost as much because they will swarm and can keep stinging you. Yeah, the last time I got stung was by a yellow jacket. And it just, I mean, I think fucking stung. Just like, hurt. I was five swap. years old. And I've never let another bee fucking touch me since. I made a promise to myself 30 years ago. Not one more. It hasn't happened yet. You ever get the bee spray? Have you ever had to get the bee, like the, the bee killer spray? Like that stuff shoots like 12 feet. Oh yeah. Fucking <laughs> I've killed, I've killed thousands <laughs> of bees in my life. They used to always, um, they used to always like being wasp nest would always fucking go in my, my basketball hoop. That I had, yeah, yeah. like, out on the driveway when I was a kid, my basketball hoop, they'd always, they'd find all the little pipes, and they'd just decide to build a thing in there. So you'd just go out there. It's fucking, it's the middle of July. I go outside, no school or whatever. I just start shooting the hoop, and as soon as I hit the backboard, the bees, bees are everywhere. swarm out of there. So you got to run away. <laughs> got to run back inside, fucking go to the garage, get the raid. And then slowly go out there. Make sure you're not into the wind so that it doesn't come right back into you. Fucking. Shh, fucking nail him and then run back inside. You got to cake it on too, man. I don't go out of my way to kill it. Like if I'm just walking down the fucking sidewalk and I see a bug, I'm not going to just fucking step on it or whatever. But once a bee has, in, or a, not a bee, but a bug of any kind has invaded my space, they have forfeited their right to life. That's how it works. So, because I know there are some people, mostly girls, who they fucking don't like bugs, but they don't like the idea of killing them either. And it's like, no, we ain't going to do this. Grab a cup and get a fucking paper and take them out. What, so we can come back inside again? He has already established a pattern of behavior. They're fucking criminals. Okay, they invaded your space once. You fucking end it. You put an end to the nonsense right then, right there. That's it. You agree, Jay? 100%. All right. I will say this. I had a friend um, that was allergic to bee stings. And, like, when we'd mess around with bees, he would, man, have, like, a freak out. Like, please, man, don't do – like, I, I could die. I'll, my face will swell up or whatever. This is, like, when we were kids. Like, But back in my mind, I, I kind of wanted to see what would happen. But I, I never, like, got him stung or anything. But – you just yeah we just kind of want it like the way that they talked about it, it's like my head's gonna swell my face my hands i know it's very dangerous so i would never do that but it's like you kill a person when you're a the kid in my like, head you're kind of like what would it, it look like if my friend's face like turned into like, when you're a kid like you do dumb shit like that yeah yeah but we had a friend who is allergic to peanuts um and not to the point where he would die or anything like that but he would get he fucking would get super uncomfortable and have to take medicine we were con once we found that out, we were constantly trying to slip him stuff that had like peanut butter in it or whatever, just to fuck with him. I never, I never that's ran up that's with fucked a up. Like it, it really is fucked up. I but never ran up with a bee and like you know? started throwing at him like darts. No. We want to see. All right, he got stung. Everybody, gather around. Let's see what happens. Never did that. Thanks that's for hanging great. out with us. Thank you, Chad, for hanging out. We'll be back on Monday. To you, Jay. I say, see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. It's pretty gay.